Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today let's talk a little bit about genus Pseudomonas. One interesting thing about Pseudomonas is that people used to think these genus are all straight aerobic bacteria. But it turns out it's not always the case. Pseudomonas belongs to the phylum Proteobacteria, family Pseudomonadacea. It has almost 200 different species. Most of them are quite common bacteria and easy to culture, which makes them very good research material. In fact, I happen to have the model species. It's called Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Now, Pseudomonas are non-fermentative, gram-negative, rod-shaped bacteria. So, if I stain the bacteria with gram stain, you can see typical gram-negative characteristic. That is, it's being stained red. Inside this medium contains sugar and indicator, and now it's red. Let me inoculate some aeruginosa to see what will happen. You can see that after incubation, the medium doesn't change much. It is still red. This shows that this is not a fermentative bacteria. If it's a fermentative bacteria like the E. coli here, you can see the medium change color. This is because the bacteria fermented the sugar in the medium and generate acid in the process, which let the indicator change color from red to yellow. The name Pseudomonas was given by German botanist Walter Megula in 1894. The word pseudo means false, and monas means single cell or single unit. Walter didn't give reason on why he chose such a name, so the best guess is that he saw the bacteria as false monas, in which monas is another kind of microorganism. In some situations where iron is limited, many Pseudomonas species produce compounds that help them absorb iron better, and these compounds give out fluorescence under UV light. A very interesting characteristic. Some Pseudomonas species are common animal or plant pathogens, like our model species here. It is clinically important since it causes nosocomial infection, which means infection inside hospital. It can develop multi-drug resistance, thus for make it difficult to treat. But some species of Pseudomonas can also help plant or crops grow better. Now I will drop some hydrogen peroxide onto the bacteria. Watch carefully. You can see the bubble coming out fast. This is because the enzyme produced by the bacteria, we often call the catalyst, convert hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water very rapidly. This characteristic, we call it catalyst positive, which a catalyst negative bacteria you see on the other side do not have this reaction. Some Pseudomonas species can survive in diesel or aircraft fuel and make the fuel go bad, means they have the ability to degrade this kind of hydrocarbon compound. So we can use them to clean up contamination caused by oil or organic solvent, 